The hoopla over the new space private race might be, in a word, astronomical. Now Prince William says, count me out. The Duke of Cambridge told the BBC that the billionaires who are fixated on space tourism should look down instead of up and focus their fortunes on saving planet Earth. A rise in, in climate anxiety. You know, people, young people now are growing up where their futures are basically being threatened the whole time. It's very unnerving and it's, it's, it's very, you know, anxiety making. We need some of the world's greatest brains and minds fixed on trying to repair this planet, not trying to find the next place to go and live. Five, four, comments coming in check. after the most Two, recent private one. jaunt into the heavens. On Wednesday, Jeff Bezos sent William Shatner and three others into space. Bezos defended his space endeavours in the past, claiming the Earth will benefit. We have to do both. And uh, what our job at Blue Origin is to do, and what this uh, space tourism mission is about, is having a mission where we can practice so much that we get really good at operational space travel, more like a commercial airliner and less like what you think of as traditional space travel. If we can do that, then we'll be building a road to space for the next generations to do amazing things there. And those amazing things will solve problems here on Earth. With me now, the theoretical physicist and the author, Mikhail Kagu, who's been listening and thoughting, thinking about these issues greatly. Sir, I know it's not one or the other. You need to do both. I, I, I understand that. But are you, do you have sympathy with Prince William's view that at the moment we'd be better off pl working out how to save ourselves rather than going elsewhere? Well, I sympathize with that point of view, but you have to look at things historically. Mass transportation goes in three stages. In stage one, the railroads and the airplanes were used for cargo, heavy machinery, troops, war materials. That's stage one. Stage two is when rich people, the jet set, start to use the railroads and the airplanes to please their, their whims. Stage three is when mom and dad can hop on an airplane or get on a train and go anywhere they want. We're now entering stage two of the space program. When we have billionaires, yes, they have big egos, but it's part of a much larger picture. You see, it's not one or the other. It's not your left hand versus your right hand. No, you have to have a left hand and a right hand. And think of what we do in outer space. The space economy is trillions upon trillions of dollars, GPS the internet, this conversation is being carried up so, on the internet. Yeah? I can't help thinking, though, I, I, the, it's, it's ironic or, or, that it's the rich men who are doing this. And I, I mean, it all seems to be predicated for sort of giving other rich people an experience. And yet next week in Glasgow, we're going to be talking about existential issues of the, the, the Earth warming to the point of extinction. Does it, does it not seem sour in some way? No, because we have to do both. Take a look at Elon Musk. On one hand, he's pioneering space tourism with SpaceX and trips to perhaps even the moon. On the other hand, Elon Musk is the founder of Tesla Motors, which revolutionized our whole understanding of the electric car, global warming, and a carbon-free future. You can do both with a left hand and a right hand, as long as the left hand does not fight against the right hand. And space tourism is only the tiniest fraction, the tiniest fraction of this much larger right. entity, the, the space economy, which is huge. But of course, the media likes to focus in on William Shatner, who go, boldly goes where no Hollywood actor has ever <laughs> gone before. And I get that. I get that. Right. Because, you know, media has to sell newspapers. But the big picture, the big picture is the left hand and the right hand complement each other. So on that big picture, give me your small corner of that big picture. If I give you a ticket, will you go? Uh, the answer is uh, no. I leave it to other people to become brave astronauts because the misfire rate of booster rockets is less than 1%. So let's put it in perspective. 1% of the time, you may not come back. 
So um, I prefer to let other people win all the accolades and win all the prizes. I'll stay at I'm, home and watch I, it on I'm TV. with you. I think I'm with you at the moment. I think I'm with you. If, when somebody like you says this, I, I listen, Kevin. Good to see you, sir. I'm grateful. Thank you.